Hi guys and welcome to this associated series where we'll be looking at Fluent Assertions. Now, Fluent Assertions is a .NET library that works with another testing framework and replaces how they do their assertions in a more fluid or fluent manner. This method is quite common and popular in C-sharp. You'll see a lot of libraries implement this style and with the idea being that it reads a lot more like English, it's a lot more pleasant to read and a lot easier to understand. Now, obviously, the fluidness isn't the only benefit to this library. There's better error messages, there's better assertions, and lots of other things that make this a really clean and nice library to use. But we will touch more on this in a future video and go more in detail on those things. For this one, all we're going to be doing is going through the NuGet packages we need for this set of tutorials. And in this situation, all we need is XUnit, which will be our main uh, test framework, and Fluent Assertions. We started with a simple solution and a standard um, class library project, um, which is .NET 6. Um, we'll go to our manage NuGet packages and I will show you already that we have XUnit installed. We also have it on 2.4.1, which is the latest version. I'd recommend you use the latest version. If you can, it might not be 2.4.1, but usually the latest version is best. It's got the bug fixes, etc. And then all we need on top of that is our Fluent Assertions. And currently this is 6.6. .6. Again, use a later version if it's there and available. If you want to follow this course directly, this course tutorials directly, then you can always use 6.6.0 .6 as well. Okay, and now that's installed, all we need to do is check that it's working. And to check it's working, we've already got a unit test class here. And we'll make a variable uh, with x is equal to value and then we can write our assertions in a fluent manner because of x dot should dot b and then value so all this will be doing is saying hey the value of x should be value and you can see immediately that reads really really well and if i go and run this unit test now you will see it's successful now that's all there's going to be for this video, it's just an introduction, just a start up. We're going to go into a lot more of these assertions and a lot more of the cool things you can do with Fluent Assertions. But for now, thank you very, very much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you all in the next video. Cheerio!